Hi everyone, I just thought I would show one of my last games I ever made on Pokemon Essentials. And I had a lot of fun with this. I just had the idea to, you know, I just thought it would be a cool idea if there was a game about me to sort of kind of like how the first movie was sort of thing. And I, I just got my idea off that. And I think Mewtwo's really cool and I think it'd be really fun to play him as a character and actually pursue Team Rocket and, you know, so I'll basically get into that in a second. So he's looking out the window, you know, this is where you pretty much start off. This whole region in general is very poor. It's so poor that you can't really go to the market and get a lot of things. This is basically a orphanage, and all the children here are orphans, and they're being taken care of. And you're technically an orphan too, so I'll get into that. So she thinks that you're a human like everybody else, because they know your story, they know where you're from. I was actually going to make you kind of go through the attic and the boxes to read kind of what happened in these old newspapers. You were basically saved from this illegal lab that Team Rocket was dealing with. Or Team Red, I think I called it something else. And uh, you were born there, technically, and people found you as a baby, all scarred up, and they thought that you were just, you know, poisoned by radiation and burned up and all that stuff. So they thought that you were some kind of toxic human toxic waste human that, you know what I mean, like some kind of monster, so they all think that's what you you are, but they don't know that Mewtwo's actually a Pokemon. Kind of silly, I know, but that's just what I thought of. I made this all for fun, so. I'm never going to finish this, unfortunately. I just think it would, it would have been cool to finish, but I don't know. I had the whole maps planned out and everything and all the things that you would do and stuff and I'll just get into that, but this is Sto Snowbank Town. So at the time I just thought of Eevee because it's simple and you can kind of make Eevee evolve into whatever Pokemon um, you think would work for you in the game and the different evolutions would be, oh yeah, and you can talk to Pokemon in this game too. A lot of them can actually understand you and stuff. So because uh, you can't really get any Pokeballs, you really have to use only one Pokemon. I was going to have it be Mew, but I didn't. I think this is the farmer's wife's house. Kind of messed up. But. So that's the only Pokemon you really get throughout the game. And eventually, as I might have said, you can use yourself in a battle later on in the game too.
don't think I put any Pokemon in this grass, but um, or it stopped working for some reason. But I will get into a battle here. Um, I just gotta find somebody to battle. So this is, uh, I think this is Rapidash Ranch. so long since I've done these. It's crazy. It's like going back in time. And then, uh, I, w I think I was going to make the rival's house right there. I don't even know if I was going to put in a rival. gonna head up to the next town. There's not too much going on here. There's the lab. I never really finished the inside of it and I never finished the um, conversation you'd have with Dr. Spruce. As the girl said in the beginning, he was gonna run the tests to try to figure out what happened to Mewtwo free of charge and he would technically encourage Mewtwo to get out of town and be a trainer and fight gyms to get stronger. And that's what he would be. I think, uh, yeah, I just got that far. I didn't put him in here. I didn't make him yet. People see you through the window, they'll lock them just because they're scared. So, this couple basically just tells you that the forest is very dangerous and they warn you about not going in there. go through the forest anyway because that's how you would get to the mainland pretty much. So I'm just gonna head up there. Also instead of running shoes you do have um, this ability to kind of hoover around so I'm just gonna use that here in the forest. I don't, it's all messed up. There's supposed to be like scary, really powerful Pokemon in here, but I just never got around to that. And I don't even know where I'm going. The forest is pretty poorly made right now, so. It's supposed to be a big maze and you, it takes you a long time to find your way out. Just 
Just gotta find it. I think it was just over here. Almost there. So this is the next town where the gym would be. It's over here. I'll get back to that in a second. I just have it as Brock being the gym leader right now, but of course I would have all these different gyms that I would make. So you just kind of get to see the town a little bit. I believe this is a apartment complex where you can just kind of see what the town is like and what the people are kind of going through and stuff like that. I'm not going to talk to everybody, but uh, I just thought I would show this. at this in so long. Instead of Team Rocket, I called them Team Red in this, because I forgot about that. Technically, it's another world he's in. So yeah, I just called them Team Red, but they're technically the same thing as Team Rocket. So that's it for this place. I was also going to have you have this ability to be able to buy, like, properties and stuff and um, you know those that um, feature on Pokemon Red, not Red, sorry, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, the original, where you can make your own little hideout and cave with that hidden move. Um, I was going to do that in this game and I was working on that before I just kind of stopped doing this. I was working full time and I, I don't know, I, this was just something really fun that I like to do at the time. but. Definitely won't finish this as well as my other game. It was all just for fun. <laughs> I was gonna make the game a little more dark and depressing with more uh, swear words and stuff, but I just, I didn't do that. I don't know what I was trying to get at when I was doing this. I was just kind of messing around and seeing everything that I could do. I spent a lot of time making these sprites and stuff and making their moves and things that they can do. And like, instead of having surf, you would learn how to swim, and then instead of having to fly, you would learn how to fly yourself further on in the game once you realize your potential as a Pokemon and not a human. 
So he just kind of tells you a little bit and explains the town and what it's all about. There's some people very supportive, but there's a lot of people who are going to be very hateful towards you and what you look like and stuff like that. So I, I'll just go and show you the Team Red or Team Rocket headquarters, whatever I called it. So this is where they are, and there's usually one in about every town. And basically, it can get pretty gruesome in this game, because I was thinking maybe once you battle them, they disappear. I mean, they died, and you get to free all their Pokemon that they've been torturing all this time. So you're just saving your own, you know? And, um get rid of them and basically annihilate them and it's really Team Rocket that's been destroying the whole region forever so and then I'll just show you a quick battle here in this gym. I'm not going to actually use Eevee because Eevee's at a pretty low level so that would be me. So there is me too and if you can tell this one's a girl you can choose between being a girl and a boy. The girl has a pink bag, obviously, and I was going to draw a Pokeball in the palm of the but I never got to it. So, but basically that's how you battle, you're just kind of like a normal trainer, and then eventually I was going to try to make it so that you can battle just as yourself, you don't know, have to take the like that. So, um, so yeah, so this is my game, and I hope you liked it. was entertaining at least. So there it is um, um, retribution. <laughs>